Hi, this is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I'm answering a Dear Ruth Teresa question. So the question is, why do I keep finding partners that only want to have sex with me and not have a relationship? Oh yeah, we're going there. So I have a couple of ways to think about this and I really want you to hear my heart on this because it's really important. So let's talk about this. What you really should be asking yourself is what is your energy or what is your vibration telling other people about you? Because so many times we think of what are my clothes saying or how do my clothes say that and that's kind of like old mentality or old way of thinking about things but it really should be what are what are my vibrations telling other people or what are the vibrations that I'm sending out telling men about me um, and I um, are my intentions of going out are they set with my clothing because a lot of times um, women will wear um, things that are kind of things that you would consider more um, like on a date in, uh, clothing and they're wearing that out to meet a girlfriend for uh, a movie or a dinner or whatever else. So it's kind of like, what are you wearing and what are those clothing? What is the energy of those clothes that you're wearing? And kind of what is it that you would really like to set on your intentions? When you go out, what are your intentions for that evening? Is it to have lunch with a friend, going um, to have dinner with a friend, going out and just having a dessert or an ice cream with a couple of friends? What is it? What are my, your vibrations setting in tune for that night? Vibrations are really a great way to kind of put this is our vibrations come off from us and our rhythms are kind of like telling other people what we will and will not do, what we're into and what we're doing. And kind of the way to think of this is kind of like they come off of us all the time. A lot of people call your aura and your aura has a lot of energy and if you're going out for just a girlfriend dinner and someone else um, across the room starts making googly eyes at you and you turn into putty and you all that kind of stuff now you've switched your intentions and now you're all about that instead of what's right in front of you of, of connecting with your friend for dinner so it's kind of really um, kind of getting a great connection between your thoughts your behaviors and your vibrations so what are your vibrations what are your thoughts what are your behaviors setting out for that date and it's really important to kind of um think about that before you set your intentions off. If you're going places and everywhere you go, men are coming up to you and talking to you, but all they ever want is the sex. They don't ever want to get to know you more. They don't want to ever anything else. It's that it's like, think about the vibrations that you're sending out. What are the vibrations coming off of you? What is your aura saying about you? That's a really important part. Um, you can alter your vibrations in just a moment. It's just really taking some time um, about setting new vibrations and kind of setting new intentions of what would you care for in this in this relationship or starting a new relationship or being out with someone else. Um, if you're always kind of like, I'm having dinner with a friend, but I'm always have one eye looking out for a new potential partner, it's one of those, you have split vibrations, which means um, it's one of those, you're sending out mixed messages. And so that could be affecting um, people picking up your vibrations or your energy with that. So be very aware of that kind of of energy and I think it's important that a lot of times people don't really know what their energy is or what their energy is saying or kind of what is their aura saying about them it's really important to keep that in mind um, as you go out and as you kind of um, decide what you want um, for this evening, setting your intentions, setting your boundaries for this. What are your rhythms for this? Now, um, one of the things I'll tell you really quickly, I'm going to do a whole video on this, but I want you to understand, um, literally, you can change your aura, your vibrations in just a few breaths. If you just literally take a few deep breaths and kind of really think about what you're trying to set vibrationally for that evening, that's going to change everything else around you. So just taking a few deep breaths and kind of thinking about what is it that I'm setting for this intention for this evening? What is that in energy? What am I choosing to have happen tonight? That's what's going to tell you what's going to really happen and how you're going to move forward. And setting your vibrations is way more important than anything else you can possibly imagine because we carry our, our aura with us everywhere. Our intentions are set 
daily, hourly of what we want to do. So let's think about it. Let's get some angel cards and get us a little bit deeper insight into all things setting our in, in vibrations up for what we really want. Blessings. Our, our vibrations are really blessings and we have to change them. It's one of those, what are you choosing to have changed during this time frame? What is it that you really want to set the intentions for? Abundance. Whatever energy you're sending out um, over and over again, that's really what you're doing. Um, we're abundantly sending out energy constantly, constantly sending out more and more energy um, into the world. And if our abundant energy is all about um, having a great time with our friend, that's what we're going to get. If it's all about setting, getting someone else in our life, then that's what we're going to get. If it's just we're always thinking like, Oh my gosh, every man I meet all just wants to have sex. So that's the energy we're sending out and that's what we're going to keep getting more of. So changing that thought, changing that vibration is going to change what we get on the other side. Let's do one more card for us. Actually, these two came together. So this is all about children and this comes in really important with our vibrations because what we set up as children of what we want or what we believe relationships are like, that's what we're going to get as adults. And then this one is all about our guardian angel. And our guardian angel really knows our inner thoughts. But I guarantee you, it's one of those, if you keep changing your vibration like 180 degrees from what you thought you wanted, it's one of those, they're kind of going, I have no idea what you want. I have no idea where you're going with this. And they get confused. But it's one of those, a lot of times that goes back to our childhood. What do we believe? Do we believe... Um, that um, men only want one thing from us. Um, maybe we heard that as kids. Um, it's one of those, or um, no one ever wants to start a new relationship. I've heard that a couple of times recently. Um, or no one wants to be in long-term relationships. And that's not true. But if you believe that and you go out with that energy, that's what you're going to get more of. So that's really important to set your energy and your aura off correctly so that you get the type of day, night, and purpose relationship on the other side. I thank you so much for joining me today and I know that we'll be talking again soon.